Today, I'm going to show you how a true mirror works. Also known as a non-reversing mirror or a flip mirror, the reflection of a true mirror shows you exactly what you look like in somebody else's eyes. Hi, I'm Jessica, optical illusion enthusiast with two-way mirrors. Mirrors have had a mystical and spiritual power since prehistoric times. They ignite the imagination. When you look into a normal mirror, who do you see? Not the person that other people see. This is because our reflection in a normal mirror is reversed. When you raise your left hand, the person in the mirror raises their right hand. From the way we style our hair to the way we smile, our faces are surprisingly not perfectly symmetrical. The image we see looking at us from the mirror is not the same face the rest of the world sees because left and right are reversed. How do you make a non-reversing true mirror? Simply join two first surface mirrors at a perfect and seamless 90 degree right angle. Is it really that simple? It takes a skilled glass cutter combined with careful engineering. The perfect angle is difficult to achieve because you need a perfect angle with a perfectly flat and sharp edge. Even sanding the edges of the mirrors would create a distracting seam, which ruins the entire illusion. Shout out to John Walter of TrueMirror.com for sending this awesome true mirror. In order to avoid an obvious line down the middle, the true mirror uses first surface mirrors, also known as front surface mirrors, which have been made to fit together very precisely. We've posted detailed information on first surface mirrors on our website, twowaymirrors.com. I'll leave the link for you below. There is a small adjustment knob on the side, which you can turn to angle to a perfect 90 degrees when the seam disappears and your face is continuous. Never seen myself like this before. Check out this can of tomato soup. You can still read the text on it as if it's not reversed. Now, hold your left hand up to the mirror and you see in the reflection a left hand and not a right hand. If you look into the mirror and lean to your left, the reflected person leans to their left. And it's the same if you lean to your right. So what happens if you rotate the mirror by 90 degrees? You'll see yourself upside down. When on display in museums, people have funny reactions to seeing themselves for the first time in a true mirror. Some may like the image that they see, however, many do not. Quite a few find it a bit disconcerting because the eye contact is completely different than you would expect. It can create a hypnotic, spiritual, or mystical effect. Well, I'm out of time, so I've got to go. I've left you a ton of information about True Mirror below, so check it out. I'd love to share more optical illusions with you, so hit that subscribe button right now. Until next time, I'm Jessica with Two Way Mirrors, and I'll see you again soon. Have you ever wanted to see your true self? Well, now you can. Today, I have for you a true mirror put together that I'm going to unbox right now. By the way, I'm Krista, and this is Two Way Mirrors. Okay, let's get started. This is what it says. So this is coming at you straight from True Mirror itself, made by John Walter. Oh yeah. It's the first mirror that doesn't reverse left and right. You can see yourself as you are for the first time. This is a primer on what to know about the True Mirror and the experience it creates. Whoa, <laughs> this is so cool. Okay. Whoa, I'm like afraid to like Take it out. Oh, okay. Whoa. As you can 
tell it's packaged very carefully. In a moment guys, I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like from the front. But first I gotta tell you something really cool. Okay, so the true mirror is actually two first surface mirrors put together at a right angle. It's been handcrafted in such a way that when you look into it, it reverses you in your reflection such that you're seeing your true self. And not your selfie self or what you would see when you go and look in the mirror. It's actually how other people perceive you. Or in other words, if you're taking an old style photograph, psh, someone else is holding the camera and not you with a selfie stick, that's the image you're getting in this mirror. You're seeing yourself as everyone else in the entire world sees you. And that's just super amazing. Okay, so I haven't looked into it yet, so I'm pretty excited to get the first glimpse here. Okay, so everything I've read about online tells me that we really need, first of all, just get those two mirrors put together and you're ready to go. Or go to the website and buy the complete thing. So I have this Precoat 33 blue spray so you can see the text and how obviously you can read it right now, but in a regular mirror reflection, it would be backwards, right? Okay. All right, so check it out. You can actually read what's on the label in the reflection. Success! One of the simplest, coolest mirror illusions in the books, for sure. All right, so now that we've tried it out on the can, I actually haven't looked into this yet, so I'm gonna try it out. Okay, so I'm gonna just put it down like that and peer down. They say this is supposed to be a life-changing moment, I don't know. Uh. Whoa, it looks really weird from that angle. I'm gonna rotate it like this. <laughs> okay. This is how other people see me? What? Whoa. It's like flipping my eyes. What? I feel like I could get lost in this. Whoa. That is super weird. Especially when you're tilting and it your head doesn't tilt with you when you're tilting. It's like, what? What? Okay, you may be wondering why you would want to build a true mirror. So let me lay it out for you right now. Imagine you're at home, you're sitting on the couch, and you're just contemplating life, or you're having a party, and you want that ultimate centerpiece. Well, this is the perfect thing to add to your repertoire home decor, because suddenly you have this really interesting, almost historical featuring object in your house. But more importantly, you can practice your selfies 
you're anti-selfies. So when you get in a group picture, are you the one that's taking a million pictures and then you go to look and see like what it looks like and you're like, hey, you didn't get me in the right angle. Or, oh, let's take one more, but get my good side, okay? That's because you're not used to seeing yourself that way. So you can use this as a tool to knowing what your true self looks like, for sure. You may see the true mirrors in museums, or at your house, or at schools. It's just a really interesting thing to have around, for sure. One other thought I had was, okay, so I've been to music festivals before, and can you imagine someone, aka, I could imagine myself taking one of these to an event like that, where there's tons of people walking around, and you can just be like, you can like attach it to your body. And see your true self. And they'll think you're like, like they don't, they don't even know what you're doing. But then they look in and then they're they like their jaw drops. They go to the ground laughing or who knows what their reaction would be, but I gotta try it for sure. Okay guys, I'm going to be posting a sequel to this video, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now. Do you want more of this? I know you want more of this. So stay tuned by going to the website twoemirs.com. By the way, I'm Krista, and this is Two Emirs.